In the latest jaw-dropping round of evidence, ex Strictly star Giovanni Pernis released bombshell audio footage which he believes will prove his innocence in the wake of Amanda Abington's complaints. According to The Mirror, Giovanni's friend claims, Gio feels like he has failed in terms of their duty of care. He reportedly believes that psychological tests should have been carried out on Amanda to check she was mentally fit for such a grueling show before training began. Express.co.uk has approached a representative for the BBC for comment. The 33-year-old Sicilian, who quit strictly this year after almost a decade on the show in the wake of allegations about his harsh and mean training technique, has handed over a 28-minute conversation with Amanda to bosses. She reportedly apologized to him for being a nightmare to work with, adding, You probably feel like throwing me out of a window. He has also provided screenshots of WhatsApp messages where Amanda declares her love for him and thanks him for supporting her. However, Amanda has claimed that hours of footage of him training her has been blocked from release. She has argued that Giovanni stamped on her foot during rehearsals, leaving her bruised and that he engaged in behavior of a sexually humiliating nature. However, she clarified that she was not accusing him of sexual harassment. Giovanni delivered a thumbs-up sign to the press on his way to a dance workshop in South London earlier today and seemed to be in good spirits following the news of the bombshell evidence. However, a source insisted to The Sun that the footage isn't the bombshell evidence Giovanni's team had billed it as being. They claimed that the footage merely forms part of the type of everyday discussions that go on between partners and pros in rehearsals, which can, obviously, be very fraught. They added, The idea that this is some kind of smoking gun that will exonerate Giovanni from his alleged behavior is absurd. These details don't alter anything. As Amanda has repeatedly made clear, including when asked during an interview last week, she did her best to make things work. This included being open with Giovanni about her own shortcomings as a dancer and her awareness that this must have been difficult for him. Meanwhile, Giovanni's spokesperson has downplayed the claims, saying, We would urge people to wait for the review's conclusion and not to pay heed to these very serious and defamatory allegations that have no evidence in support of them. A decision is expected to be reached by the BBC next week as to whether or not Giovanni will be found innocent.